this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest V! Since last time, as you can see, I brought Vlad back into my party, my Draki, and I want to get out the um, Staff of Anti-Magic uh, from the bag there, because when Bianca left the party, it was automatically thrown in there. Uh, like I was saying last time, remember to hold on to most of her equipment for later, except for that morning star you can sell it. we got a couple new enemies here. Hex Helmet. We want to take him out first, because he can use, uh, he can inflict the curse stats on you, which would be really bad. Uh, Samagina, not so much. So I wouldn't, uh, worry about him. He can cast mid, er, not mid uh, Fizzle. And that spooky aura increases your vulnerability to status ailments, but I wouldn't worry about it at all. So. He's actually a decent monster to recruit, but, uh, I don't really care for him. He's not bad. Okay, so you follow those directions. You see the insignia on the floor there? That indicates what room you need to go into. And, like the tablet was saying, you gotta get, well, everyone to, uh, well, not, turn their, turn their backs away from each other. Turn towards each other. And go into the next room with the insignia. Do the same thing. You just step on the switch over and over again, and the statues will face to each other. Fortunately, the puzzles in this place aren't nearly as convoluted as the Cloister of Trials! No, no I'm just teasing you guys. But, uh, yeah, those puzzles were a little tricky. These ones, much more straightforward. I don't know how that even works. You step on a few switches, and you get down to a chest with mini metal number 35. But really, I mean, I, I, how did that even work? With that room back there. Anyway, we got a new enemy here, uh... What are they called? Gas bags. Uh, they can breathe venom mist on your entire party, which will poison everyone. So you want to use snooze on them so that way they can't do that or attack you or do much of anything. So otherwise, relatively easy. Man. Yeah, I guess you just push a few switches and uh staircase pops out. I don't know how we're supposed to get out of here now, but anyway, we got another new enemy. Admirer. They're like the guys from the last game. Let's dazzle one of them. There we go. Yeah, just like the last game, they, w they will, uh, enemies like them can copy your characters. They'll have the same stats, the same equipment, the same abilities, you name it. Yeah, so you can even cast Sap on them. So, uh, fortunately, uh, Draki does not have much defense, so we're okay with that. I don't need to cast Sap on him. Uh, but as you saw me do earlier, I did cast Sap on the copy of the Adam's Apple. Ow! Yeah, I cast Sap on him, because his defense is pretty high. So. You can put them to sleep, but they have a pretty high resistance to it. So. Yeah, let's heal up that one. Now, you see in the room above there, it's full of water. There's a gate there. There's a... Uh, let me see. If you go down a little bit, you see there's a switch on the top screen and a pit on the bottom screen. If you flip the switch, the water comes down and knocks you into the pit. you got to climb all the way back up here. So if you put the rock there, then step on the switch, it'll block you from being put thrown down into the pit. The path to the left there is where you'd come up after getting knocked down into that pit. You just climb the stairs, you come back up here, you try again. No, you don't put the rock on the switch. Yeah, I know. That's what you were thinking. The switch on the right there leads to a dead end. So, don't bother with that one. Just step on the left switch and go down here. Okay, so you hit the left switch. You move the bottom statue to the left. But there's an upper statue there that we can't get past yet. So, you step on this switch once. Step on it again. It moves... Each time you step on that, it moves the statue up one. Woo! A liquid... Metal Slime. Game? Yeah, um, he gets a lot of experience, like 10 grand or something ridiculous like that. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't kill him fast enough. So. Oh well. Here we got another new enemy, Orc King. They're actually a pretty decent monster to recruit. They can cast Zing, uh, which is a reviving spell. Uh, I think they can cast Cuzzing, or Mid Heal, something like that. They're not bad, and they got a decent equipment draw, too. So, you might want to try recruiting one, but, uh, I don't think so. I don't think they're worth it. But anyway, we got the Royal Insignia! But it's a trap! Oh, it's not a trap. 
Oh, okay. Let's get out of here, then. Uh-oh. Fail? I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, we better ba ba heal up here. Okay, we'll walk out of here the old-fashioned way. Why not? I wonder what those switches on the left there do. Probably move that upper statue left and right, I'm guessing. What the? Who's there? Why not? Nuts. I'm not handing anything over to you. For boss time against Robin Hood. Okay, so, uh, what you want to do is you want to cast Sap and Dazzle on the Robin Hood there and kill the Hippoblockimus first. Can't believe I just said that with a straight face. But anyway, uh, the Hippoblockimus only has like 100 HP, so he's pretty easy to take out. And then you want to use Fizzle with the Staff of Anti-Magic on the Robin Hood, so that way he can't use mid-heal on himself. Sap, remove his defense. Dazzle, keep him from hitting you. Fizzle, keep him from using any spells. And he's pretty well neutered. So the only trouble you might have is sometimes he'll get a critical hit and kill you. But that's extremely rare. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. Just keep on going all out. Watch out for buffs wearing off. So now I gotta reestablish Dazzle. Or deep, watch out for debuffs wearing off. I still dodged anyway. I don't think Sap ever wears off. I think that's a permanent status. Technically, it's a stat modifier, so it probably doesn't count as like a debuff, actually. Or a status. It is a debuff, but okay. Let's see if I can get out of here now. Alright, there we go. Now that was a Yeah, relatively short little dungeon. run into liquid, a lot of, well, not a lot of liquid metal times, but enough of them if you really wanted to level grind, but, uh, nah, I don't think so. I think our levels are doing just fine. Maybe I'm a little behind, but, well, not too much. We should be able to get through, uh, well, this part of the game. Try not to spoil things. Wouldn't be prudent. Yes, I'm still alive. Oh. Well, uh, thank you. For a second there, I, w I thought you were the one who was behind this whole thing, but, uh, I, I guess I was wrong. Maybe this is a plot twist. Maybe Prince Albert is the real bad guy. He's just using Jeeves as the red herring. He's telling him what to do. But Prince Albert's really in charge, and he's the one who doesn't want us to become king. It's just trying to throw us off. Oh. Well then. There you go. Well. Seems like a nice guy after all. I guess he's going to be working for me now. Already? Now, from what I've heard, my understanding is that once Abel arrived at Gotha, obviously, uh, Bianca wasn't in her third trimester yet. So, my guess is that they probably stayed at Gotha for a few months before actually going out to get that insignia or that item, whatever we got, and... Now she's finally delivering the baby. So, no, it's not... She doesn't get pregnant and deliver the baby in three weeks. No, it doesn't work that way. I know some of you viewers would like it to be that way, but no. No, it's not the way real life works. Oh, well. Third? That's it? You're the one who's going to be delivering my baby? I'm the king! I gotta get better healthcare coverage than this. Yeah, that is true. Hey, uh, Adams, why don't you, uh, stay with, uh, Bianca there? Make Adams the first thing that she sees. No, no, that would be a bad idea.
Hmm. It's happening exactly as before. It's about time. I mean, I'm 18 years old, but still. Something like that. Oh, here we go. Hey, hey! All right! I'm happy for you to it. What does that even mean? Where did they come up with these catchphrases or expressions? Wow, what is the etymology of that? Oh, yeah, I suppose I should, huh? Looks like we're finally going to be a parent. Is it a boy, a girl, or both? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest V! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!